morning from the breakers. Early in the morning, and it's wet. The white LaFerrari is here, and yo, look at that's the auction uh, car. I think that was sold for five million. That's sick. Owners preparing their cars. It's a little wet. There's a wheel in the trunk. Very nice. Massive Phantom over here. And a Corvette. Oh, is that 06? I love these things. Ceramic brakes, too. Well, there's a couple of cars that I haven't seen yesterday, like that yellow 512M. I don't know what this is, but it looks like something from the 1940s or 1950s. inside out here we have uh, I think a 575 or 550 and uh, Diablo GT interior. I think we saw this at the dealership the other, the other day super deep dish wheels very badass it's, uh, it's hanging out with the wrong crowd over here some Nissan headlights very cool Silver Enzo this wasn't here yesterday this is Argento and Nürburgring or Grigio, Grigio something, I forgot what the name is. And next to it, oh, I remember, Grigio Titanio, I think. It's a little bluish silver. Next to it, we have a 288 GTO, almost missed it, and a Testarossa. Another F40 that wasn't here yesterday, and a Mercy Lago 40th anniversary. 40th anniversary is only coming to manual. Um, the first gen and says assets. Very nice. And a very, very pretty baby blue family first V12599 in, I don't know what blue this is, I'll find out. Uh, this is Verde Armatis or something. Not fun gearbox, but baby blue. From the front, that's actually a really pretty color. Wow. 512TR up close. Very nice. I think it's a European model. And we have a blue Dino. This looks like the dark blue might be a blue Podsy. And another black 512TR. Nice. That's a yellow. That's a black open headlights. F40's back here. And we got a couple of other red ones. Don't remember seeing that yesterday. They're starting up to go inside. Oh, that's not the livery. Silver with a black striped 599 GTO. I've always wondered what these little covers are on the car. Could never find out. Probably brake protectors or something. Titanium lug nuts. Red interior. Very neat. They have these little flying buttresses on the GTOs, which are like, actually, not GTOs, just 599s. Very special to this car. GTO. And the flying buttresses where you can see right through the car. Different colored Ferraris. I think this is, a, I don't know what the green is called, I'll find out. But it's a green uh, Competizione and the blue F40. That we saw this yesterday at the uh, event in the backyard. And it's really wet here. It's so cool to see these cars in the wet. Let's see if there's water in the engine. There isn't. They engineered the plastic so well that water doesn't get in. Fog lights. Baby blue SF90 Spider. Brown interior with white stripes to match the car. Another blue TV up here. This is a baby blue with the French stripes. Probably
probably inspired by one of the uh, Tour de France specs or something. Very cool. Might be the same color as the uh, as that SF90 over there. Another 812 comp. This one in white with blue carbon. Very neat. Painted shields or airbrush, clear coated. Very cool. Very simple actually. Just blue and uh, dark blue accents and uh, white. And this is a 488 with uh, paint matched uh, side markers. Something doesn't sound a little bit good over there with the 250 Luso. So well, this car yesterday in the back, much better with the uh, with lighting here. Here you can see the red stuff, the red details on this. Nice, very nice in the daytime. This looks like a flat white, whereas the one back there is uh, more of a metallic white. You can see like the clear difference of this in this part of the video. Not sure what this is, but it looks like a 265 or 275 with 250 GTO intakes. Very interesting. Or maybe a 330 Le Mans or something. It's got a cage in it. Side exit pipes. And it sounds good. Drop head coupe with a 275 in the back. I think this is a 250 LM or something. Like for, uh, it's mid-engine, I think. Very cool. This wasn't here when I did my lap earlier around here. But look at that side intake. You can almost put the drink inside. That one-piece rear bubble. Oh my god. We got one F40, two F40s, and three F40s, and a black Enzo, and a Rosso, I don't know what Enzo. Well, apparently that's been repainted and uh, nobody knows what color that is, so we'll find out. This one over here is, I think, a special kind of red for the F50. Rosso Barchietta, he says. I, I don't know what the color that is, but it's obviously a darker red than Rosso Corsa, because you can see down there that's Rosso Corsa, and this is much wine red looking. And the black Enzo. Wow. Such reflection. I'm gonna look at what I wanna see myself. Hello. Very neat black interior as well. Uh, black brakes, black everything. Casual Dino driving by. Nice.
that's a very special color on this 296. Blue with um, kind of color change in blue. I think it's only available to attendees of the Ferrari Cavalcade. They have a red version of that too. 275, oh, very nice blue. So this is the red version of that Cavalcade special for the owners. Um, the one down there you see is the blue version and this is the red version. A little bit of color changing, very neat. Canada flag, so you can choose whatever flag you want to represent. Very neat. Florida plate, V12 power. Florida Highway Patrol has the sickest chargers. Look at the push bars. <laughs> you just peace signed me, that's sick. La Ferrari, the second one here, the red one. When you drive your car on the street, you use PS4S's. That means this car is actually driven. This car is more or less 60 years old. This one's probably older. This guy's getting gassed back here. Oh, Jesus. A baby blue TDF with red interior. That's the one that was undercover earlier. that I missed. So I think there are five or six TRs here now and this one is painted in probably Azzurro, California. Very cool. Very light blue. Green A12 Calm. Very pretty plate. Nice. Blue interior too. Jeez. Black Enzo. Sick. Black interior. So busy. So many people. Yes, Ro Aventador Roadster Blue. The Atsuro Fade. I could never know how to say this. That's sweet. Cargo for us. Wait, it's on wait, Ontario. We finished breakfast and we were walking by and saw this. Jesus Christ. Only in Florida. Right, let's get a close up look. That, those wheels, look at those little bolts. And crystal clear windshield with red and cream interiors. Scoop scoops. Pilot Sports, look at that 16.4 engine. Wow. Bugatti Florida. Super neat. I was told this is a Grand Sport with a removable roof. It's a glass removable roof. It was a glass remo removable roof. Sweet, so it's a Targa. Very cool. Vanquish Roadster or Volante. 40 going in. Flying Spur. Hiding in the back, we have a SF90 and a Julia. No, sorry, not Julia. SF90 and a Stelvio. I think it's a Stelvio Quadrifolio as well. Oh, 812 GTS. Nice. Matte red GTS and the F40. Wait, that's a Men's 3 812 and a Men's 3 488. What the heck? Check out that limo, that Mercedes limo. Super long boy. The green on 10 SLR, SLS, sorry, is uh, here with his doors open. Now we can see the interior. Super cool. And an FL5 Type R. Wow. Okay, that front wheel is kind of mangled. A lot of uh, Novatec and Mansuri cars are like this one. 812. 
the Mansuri Stallone, apparently, as a kid. All the forged carbon. Pretty insane. Massive wheels. You got the side vents. And that massive wing back here. All forged carbon. Really cool. I haven't seen this around anywhere, really. And this little, um, sorry, not little, um, it's just a smaller in size compared to that one. But orange F8 with kind of a green sparkle in the paint. Another men's 348. This one has the carbon wheel. F40, I think with two B exhaust in there, and a La Ferrari with FXXK wheels. And this guy was here last year as well. Very cool. La Ferrari, properly driven. All the dirt. Diablo VT that pulled in. Skip GTS. 16M Scud. This is a loud one. Basically a 430 uh, Scuderia, but convertible version. Another GTS. Oh, 280 SL from Connecticut. Very nice. S790 in matte black with those um, pinstripe wheel, also nice. M4, very usable. Rogue, functional. Also functional. Got S790, Arrivederci. Saw this yesterday. That means uh, see you next time or see you later. And um, F8, 296 GTB. I think this is a Fiorano uh, pack. And a red 599 GTO. This is the second GTO over here that we saw. Same with the uh, brake protector. Very nice. This is still really good looking. I think it's almost 10 years old or something or more. This is a second 812 comp or the green 812 comp with a matching center 12 o'clock stripe as a, as a body color. Very clean. Also the silver stripe matches the Florida plates as well, the green. A white Aventador uh, SV, I think. What's up with the wing? Modded tips. Launch spec piece to spider. Oh, nice. I like that uh, 458. The 812 comp with the um, sketches on it. So this is like a special one-off project that was a charity auction. Um, I think it was auctioned off for 5 million. Even the inside is like custom. But very, very cool. Cup 2R tires. American specs, so it was sold to someone locally. And there's a Chiron. Casually driving through. A little far from it right now, but... Damn. You can use that 06 with a Z07 pack. Another piece of spider. What color is that? What color is that? It's like a purplish, silvery color, kind of like the new dark horse color. All right, let's go in and see all the classics. A light green 250 GTO that used to belong to Sterling Moss, right-hand drive. Hence the uh, UK driving side. Very neat with this little side uh, mirror over there. And that little beacon light on the side with mint, mint, mint interior. Very cool car, very private owner too, so it's uh, it's actually a treat to see it out in public. Very pretty. Here we have a brand new SP3. I'm not really sure what the color is, but these headlights, th those are actually eyelids that slide back, so you, it reviews the whole headlight. Very nice blue actually. What's the interior? It's like a light beige tan interior. And this rear piece is like, the rear, the rear cover is one piece. Very, very cool. Order of the police. So apparently to get, to get this car, you have to basically um, accept the offer to get the SP1 or the SP2. And if you reject it, then well, you're not gonna get this car. So that's how Ferrari played its game. 250 GT Berlina, 1958. So this car is almost like almost 70 years old, geez. I'm glad to see it's still out and about. Well, at shows, but still. Fire extinguisher, very important. Or, looks like dolphin gray, but it's not. A very dark green, very elegant green on tan. Roll cage in there too. Left hand drive. You can see the key, even the key tag is like leather. 1959 250 GT Berlin. Very cool, dark green, very good condition. These are both 250 GT spiders. Right hand drive with a shifter on the right side true race car and look at the look at the radiator on this thing they are circular 
This is the 1967 412P, so it's the same time period as the Ford uh, GT40 when they raced at Le Mans. 52 nine, uh, Ferrari 212, and I think that's the original owner. Wow. 212 Inter Kia, and this is another 212, but Inter uh, Vignali Coupe. Wow. That's a 250 LM from 1964. That was in the parking lot earlier. That one piece back there, very smooth. This one over here is a 250 uh, short wheel base competition. It's uh, one of the race cars. And Minnesota plates, Prova, is like the um, Italian plates that says Prova numbers underneath, which is super cool. Over here, you can see all the clusters, the dials. Here are the two 250 uh, GT Californias. So this one over here is the short wheelbase. And the one back there is the long wheelbase. And the only difference I think that I can see uh, visually is this section over here. This one is a little shorter than that one over there. 1951 212 Export. I assume it's for the export market because it's right and dry. Although it does have Italian Roma plates. A very round back end. If you look at the inside. Very large dials. Very cool. Wood steering wheel. The new car stand over here. The Purosange that opens from the unusual sides. The clamshell opens up here. And then this car has like the suicide doors. Very interesting. The new SF90 X Extradale, which is like the Speciale version of the SF90. You lose the front because you got these air ducts like the GT3 RS. You got the whole carbon like uh, dashboard over there. You get more hood, more vents, and well, actually, sorry, not more hood. You get less hood actually. Um, you get more venting on the back. You get a fixed wing, which is actually pretty cool. I'm a big fan of a fixed wing. You know, all my cars have fixed wings. <laughs> this is the lawn where all the cars are getting judged. Uh, I think there are at least a couple hundred cars here. These are all 275 GTBs. So many. In almost every color you can imagine. Red, blue, gray, green, silver. Two 288 GTOs. Let's see which wheels are shiny. Both left and drive, or they only come in left and drive. So, well, the Asian market or uh, Singapore, Australia, Hong Kong never got these cars. A lineup of Dinos. There are some hard tops. Those ones over there are Targas, well, the two black ones in the middle. This is a light light colored one with a turquoise blue antique license plates, also a Targa. Very neat. Over there, we got the thing of 365s, a bunch of them. And down here, we got the uh, 365 Daytonas. Two of the coupes, that's a spider. Another, another coupe and two more spiders in the back. Silver spider, pretty amazing. And a white spider with red interior. Let's have a look. Daytona seats too. This is the F40 section. We got one, two, three, four, five. And out of these, that's American, that's European. You can see a difference because there's no side markers here and there's a side marker over here. So you know this one's American. This is one from Toronto, Ontario car, but uh, it's imported from Europe because it doesn't have the side markers, which is cleaner. This one as well, also from Europe. 308s and 328s in this row. They can be GTAs, Quattro Bavoli, or uh, like hard tops. Down here we got all the 550s and 575s. Um, they could be Barquettas, they could be coupes, like those ones down there. This one in particular has blue interior with blue and cream with a manual transmission. So this is the, uh, what is this, 550 Barquetta by Pina Farina. Even the road, the road hoops are wrapped in blue leather. Proper license plate, Barquetta, very nice. This is a 599, very, very elegant car. This one is an F1 transmission, automatic. Daytona comfort seats, very neat. And there's a mixture of 575s and uh, 550s. So that one's a 575. And this one's ooh, from Ontario. This one is rare because it's one of the 575s that came in manual. Most of these are in F1 uh, transmission because that was the newest technology back then when this car came out. Over there, that's also in manual. You can see it by the chrome shifter over there. And this Ferrari floor knot. This gray one here is also manual. Um, this is a 575. This is a 550. 
that's a 575 so well these two models kind of look very similar actually i think the only difference is um the trunk you see where you open a latch that one has a little piece in the middle whereas that has a continuous line across so that's a 575 that's a 550 that's a 550 back there these are some of the halo cars this is the enzo repainted it's got push rod suspension i think these are also new i'm not sure but it's got ferrari stickers on it massive engine those headers wow that's sick the firewall that carbon uh upper clamshell and that's i think it looks like a russell f1 2007 but nobody really knows i saw the owner they don't know but it's it's got a metallic finish to it this f50 is finished in russell but Rocchetta, also repainted but very very nice job it's got the racing harness inside of the hooks manual transmission period correct and i think this is also a european model so it's also got the v12 yes, yep. and the sideways push rod suspension so apparently to service this car you can basically drop the rear end and have the front half of the car on hoist while this other half is on the ground look at the headers massive that's all i think that's all carbon kevlar or something very neat all the suspension components i think that's a rear diff um not too sure what that is actually that carbon air box is uh, planet is cool f50 they do come with a removable top like that one but that one has a roof this one doesn't 599xx we saw it this morning super loud race car got these little xx fins that you can actually spec on the gto but not many people got it all the venting all the venting you need for the breathing of this car and the airflow and some say that ferrari keeps this car and ships it around the world for you to track it for fun third f50 here so that's in russell corsa that's in russell corsa this one and that's in russell barquette the second enzo the silver one and the third enzo the black one we got three enzos at this show and if you look closely the headlight casing is in carbon fiber attention to detail this is a 2004 2005 car if they can make this that's insane the steering column also in carbon fiber the seats mint i don't think this car has a radio actually i think this is in rosso dino bb 512 bb and apparently i was told um, by someone that this is a prototype don't know what prototype this is but it probably is a prototype still rare though nevertheless 16M Scuderia, one of the best sounding Ferraris ever, the V8s, I mean. And we got a very classy silver with silver uh, 430 Spider. Is it manual? Yes, it is. Very nice. And a baby blue F12 TDF with the red interior, red brakes, those red donuts around the car. Nice, no glove box, lightweight, weight reduction. Massive painted shield. French flag. Very classy. 599 SA Aperta, it's basically the same drive, it basically has the same drivetrain as the 599 GTO, except, well, it's got silver headlight casing, um, more elegant wheels, it's got a remo removable target top, and it doesn't have the brake protector things. Also limited to like 400 or something. Stripeless Speciale, very nice. Got a carbon side piece. Got a Super America, also rare. Got a Sick 12 uh, Scaglietti, I call it spaghetti. And a yellow, uh, triple triple yellow F12 TDF. And another another uh, Scaglietti as well, with almost polished wheels. Wow, very nice. I like these wheels. Painted uh, color match headlight casing. This one is also an F1 transmission. These do come in uh, the six-speed manuals, but they're super rare. It's basically the predecessor to the FF because you can see it's got four seats. Two in the front, two in the back, and two back seats are actually pretty big enough for like, you know, you can squish four adults in there. Headlights, probably a French car because uh, I think during the wartime, all the French cars have yellow headlights so they don't shoot each other. This is where all the Testarossas are. Single mirror because that's a European model. Wow. Pretty sick.
the American cars has uh, two mirrors because um, apparently we can't drive. Another one from Netherlands. And another one. Blue with red interior. All the TRs here. So there's a white sort of TR. Um, all the 512 M's are here. There's a white one, a red one. A blue one, not too sure what the color is. And oh, there's four more. There's another black one with a brown suede interior. Wow. Those are like the larger racing seats. Very cool. And a yellow one with a black interior. Another black one with um, leather, like comfort seats or something. Very neat. And a red one with black comfort seats. At this view, you can see all seven 512Ms here. The Chiron that I just saw, it's actually in bare carbon, or well, black carbon, bare. Naked carbon, very cool. Black everything with white interior, so it's a Capanna spec. Full DPF, badge delete. Very nice. A little flying buttress in the middle. And there's a new Spectre here. The Rolls Royce e uh, left her car with the license plate heads up in New York. Very cool. Got two Huayras here, one the King Huayra and a Huayra BC in red carbon. Very similar to the Phantasma Evo in Hong Kong. Red carbon mixed with black carbon, the BC, the Bolton wing, which is a little bit different from the Tricolore that we saw a couple days ago. Very cool. I think these are have, have like pretty high mileage because they drive their cars. Well, they trucked it over here, but they really drive their cars. The Neff 18 Mac Dark Blue uh, 918. Very interesting. I assume this would be Stealth PPF or something. Acid green accents, piping and all that. Carbon, carbon, carbon. It's a Vysac pack on uh, the actually, with all the extra carbons over here. HRE wheels, I think these are P101s. Very nice. Top Gear, top gear Porsche, uh, Mega. I think uh, that means that would make America great again. This one is number 714. Very cool. Three, four, five, twenty one inches. There she goes. HGTE pack, the handling package. That's coming out. Damn. Nice. I don't even know which F40 this is. That's nice. They just called a something Ferrari. 2 plus 2 Chinese eyed car, like what? Because of its headlights? Driving with the doors up. That's sick. That's it. 
Russell Dino 512BB. It's fast. And the black 512M. I found the color name. It's uh, Russell F1 2007. Very neat. The Diablo has arrived with the 765 LT and the uh, Balboni, or sorry, my glory. Here with a Russell F1 2007 Enzo. Very, very cool. That's a Dakar. Sick. Limo, that's sick. <laughs> bye bye. That's a sick Maybach, but this is a sicker car. A little funny story with this car. I saw this car at the factory seven years ago in 2017 when the owner took delivery of it. Um, it's basically a Tempesta car, but without the front lip and the diffuser. What's the color? Bronzo Amaro. That's color. <laughs> the chrome wheels, the bronze calipers, or gold almost. The brown interior. Wow. That's pretty sick. I wonder if it's still the same owner. It probably is. One of the OG fires. Sick. And right next to it, there's a Fjord Green GT3 Touring with the windows down. Look at the interior color. Look at that. Oh, all the phones, all the phones, nice. Yeah, thank you so much. Sick. 